We are back with yet another monthly wrap-up of some of the weird, bizarre, and even scary news to come out of Japan over the last month. So what happened over the last month or so? Let's take a look. Number 1. Have you ever wanted to marry your favourite fictional character? Well, never fear, Japan has you covered. A website known as the Dimensional Bureau will now issue marriage certificates for you and your favourite character. It began when the website's creator, a former designer, realised he was in love with a character from the anime Symphogear. He feared others wouldn't understand his feelings, but after searching on the internet, realised he wasn't alone in being a fictosexual. As such, he decided to start the website to help out others like himself reach their dreams. By marrying fictional characters. The service actually started in November 2020, and has reportedly issued over 200 marriage certificates since it began, and he receives requests not only from Japan, but from overseas as well. Of course, you can't actually marry a fictional character, and there are of course copyrights involved, but the certificates are more of a symbolic thing to show your love for your favourite character. And so, if there's a fictional character you have your eyes on, you can visit the website and snag them for yourself. Or something. Number 2. In a rather interesting piece of news this month, it was reported that on March 7th, around 4.30pm, a woman in Nabari City, Mie Prefecture, was suddenly attacked by a middle-aged man wearing a grey jacket and cargo pants. But what he said to the woman was what made this attack truly strange and confusing. I'm looking for a family who will take me in, he said before fleeing. As of now, the police are still looking for the man, and the incident reportedly took place near Suzurandai Elementary School. They are looking for anyone who might have any information about the man, but other than her confusion and being quite frightened, the woman was otherwise unharmed. Number 3. It's gacha time again. The stranger, the better, right? Well, this month you can buy quite the interesting capsule toy. This one is known as the Gachapon that absolutely will never open. Sounds like a challenge. This toy comes with varying levels of difficulty. Level 1 is simply two halves stuck together. Level 2 increases the number of layers. And level 3 takes it to an almost lament configuration number of twists, turns and pieces. Can you summon yourself some Cenobites if you open it? Only one way to find out. Of course, these can actually be opened, and it's become a bit of a trend on the Japanese internet to film yourself doing so, but there's nothing inside them. The joy was the fun you had along the way. Number 4. On March 5th, a laundromat owner noticed something strange taking place inside his store. A young man, who didn't appear to have any washing, stood before a dryer while looking around suspiciously. After seemingly confirming that no one was there, he started rifling around inside it. This particular dryer was full of a woman's underwear. The 60-year-old owner approached the man and asked him what he was doing, only for the man to respond, This is none of your concern. I'm not stealing anything. Of course, if the first thing you say is, I'm not stealing anything, then suspicions are going to be raised. And when the owner said he was going to call the police, the situation escalated. The man tried to bribe the owner with money and begged him not to call the police, but he refused. He tried to keep the man from fleeing, even standing in front of his car, but the man took off, the owner clinging to the front of his car as he did. He then reversed, sending the owner tumbling to the ground, but unfortunately for him, all of this was recorded on numerous security cameras, so he was swiftly arrested and he admitted to the charges. The owner, meanwhile, has been praised for his courage in stepping in and trying to stop the man from stealing someone's underwear. Number 5. It seemed there was a spat of underwear stealing this month, as it was reported on March 11th that a 24-year-old man, a nurse in Kurume City, Fukuoka Prefecture, was arrested on suspicion of breaking and entering last December in January. Why was he breaking and entering? To steal underwear, of course. What made this story even stranger was that the house the man broke into was that of his girlfriend's friend. His break-ins were discovered when his girlfriend saw pictures on his phone of her friend's house and underwear. Confused and a little horrified, she went to the police. 
He admitted to the charges and said he did so because he was curious and wanted to satisfy his desires. Needless to say, the couple aren't dating anymore, but it's unknown how the friend feels about having her delicate stolen by a friend's boyfriend. Number 6. A tweet by the Ministry of Health, Labour and Welfare went viral last month for, well, its use of an adorable cat. The tweet was made to bring attention to a parasite known as anisakis that can be found in fish and cause people to have allergic reactions. Vinegar, salt pickles, soy sauce and wasabi will not kill it, the tweet says, warning people to be very careful when preparing sashimi, but freezing and heating are effective against it. Of course, it was the adorable cat playing with a toy fish that helped the tweet gain traction, as it can be seen lounging and playing with a toy fish that's, hopefully, parasite-free. Neither a cat's punches nor kicks can destroy Anisakis, states a funny little note on the picture as well. This got all sorts of eyes on the tweet, a smart move by the ministry, and when asked who the cat was, they revealed it belonged to one of their employees. All in a day's work. Number 7. Something that always fascinated me during my time in Japan was the… well, I'm not even sure what it's called. Basically, a restraining pole that most government buildings such as schools have on hand to keep trespassers safely at bay while the police are called. They're long poles with a usually pointy pronged end so you can keep someone safely pinned against a wall so they can't hurt anyone until help arrives. Well this month, a security company released a new series of these poles, going by rather badass names such as Cerberus and Orochi, that can be used to instantly restrain and down an intruder before they even know what's going on. These can even be used to wrestle weapons from the intruder and then down them immediately after, leaving them nice and tied up until police arrive. Efficient and safe. These products are only available to officially licensed organizations, however, so if you want one for your home, you're out of luck. Number 8. Late last year, a 70-year-old unemployed man went out to the front of his apartment building like he usually did to grab a free newspaper. One of the other residents was a delivery man, and he let the 70-year-old take a free copy if any were left because he knew about how hard up he was for money. But on this particular day, his wallet was also in the usual basket and, unable to stop himself, the 70-year-old stole 70,000 yen from it, even though he knew there were security cameras watching his every move. According to the man himself, he just wanted to have a little fun. Having no money for so long is rough and when he saw the money, he couldn't stop himself. He spent the money quite quickly and Amongst the things he bought was some yakiniku from a nearby restaurant. When he was asked about this in court, however, he had an interesting response. Most defendants try to make themselves appear as apologetic as possible, but when he was asked how the yakiniku that he bought with the stolen money tasted, he answered truthfully. Honestly, it was incredibly delicious. Indeed. Ultimately, the man received a one-year prison sentence for his crime. Suspended for three years. Number 9. Be careful what you eat at school. On March 1st, six students and five staff members at Kanare Junior High School in Nagoya ate yogurt prepared by a 72-year-old teacher. They only had a few tablespoons each, enough to taste test it, but just a few short hours later, many began to experience intense stomach pains, vomiting and nausea. They were rushed to the hospital and it was discovered they were suffering from food poisoning. Yes, the yogurt was to blame. The teacher reportedly wanted to convey the importance of good bacteria to the students, the type that can be found in yogurt, and he made this yogurt himself by mixing milk with a starter culture set that he left at home to ferment for a week before taking it to school. Sadly, something went wrong in the process, but Everyone who consumed the yogurt quickly recovered and the school is investigating what went wrong. A message about bacteria was sent, but perhaps not the one they were after. Number 10. Finally this month, a 39-year-old man of no fixed address in Nakamura Ward, Nagoya, was arrested for, well, beating up two police officers. 
The man reportedly visited their police box in Nakamura Ward around 4.30pm on March 2nd, and then demanded that they lend him a gun. Naturally, the officers refused, and this upset the man so much that he then attacked them. Both officers ultimately escaped with only slight wounds, and they were able to keep their guns from him long enough to arrest him. The suspect, of course, admitted to the charges. It would be a little hard to wiggle out of that one. As of yet, no motive has been given as to why he even wanted a gun in the first place, nor why he thought the officers would hand him one. And that's just some of the weird, bizarre, terrifying, and also kind of funny news that came out of Japan last month. But what about you guys? Hear of anything odd or terrifying? Weird or funny? Let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you again next time.